It's the centerpiece of a popular Jewish celebration, and they're flying off the shelves at one Cleveland bakery. Mike Brookbank tempts our taste buds around town. Saturday night, Jews around the world will observe Purim. The annual festival celebrates the uncovering of a plot by a man named Haman to pay his king to have all Jews murdered. The main food on this holiday is a cookie called Hamantaschen. Hamantaschen means Haman's pockets. Um, and it basically is just to signify that whatever came out of Haman's pockets, you know, the money that he paid didn't go for anything because the plot was foiled. Lax and Mendel Bakery in South Euclid will sell between 10 and 15,000 hamantaschen leading up to Purim. Apricot, cherry, and chocolate top the list of most popular flavors. We've learned hamantaschen is an important part of Purim, but surprisingly, so is celebratory drinking. Wine, liquor, beer, anything you want, it's free for all. The big question you might have is, why eat a Haman cookie? Purim is also a holiday of opposites. So one of the opposites is to eat something that commemorates the evil one instead of the good one. Good morning and welcome to Cleveland Connection. I'm your host, Catherine Boyd. My guest now to someone you should know, recently taking over the reins of a radio show decades old. I think the biggest challenge in freshening up Cleveland Connection is getting past the stereotype that public affairs is boring. Catherine Boyd is trying to do that each time her show hits the airwaves. Cleveland Connection, she says, celebrates the people working to keep things moving in the right direction. Public affairs is actually really exciting. It is about us, the people who live here in this great city and all the wonderful things we're doing to improve upon what's already here. Check out Catherine on air each Sunday. I've linked her information to my Facebook page, so get on it. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.